welcome no uh, uh. Good morning everyone. I'm Satama Mangkalat. I'm a PhD student of the College of Public Health Science, La Longa University. Yeah. And uh, my major is in the environmental health. Right. So, oh, uh, which major did you graduate in master degree before? Uh, before I did the master degree in the environmental management uh, of the La Longa, at the La Longa University as well. Uh, from, from graduate school. Yes, at a graduate school. Right. Uh, now we go to your uh, very good dissertations. Uh, uh, what is your dissertation topic? My topic of the research is residential environment and obstructive sleep apnea in Bangkok. This is a repeated cross sectional study. Um, it this uh, sounds quite strange. Uh, yes. oh, what what obstructive sleep apnea? Is? Uh, could, could you explain more? Yes, obstructive sleep apnea is the situation of individuals breathing stop repeatedly because because of their thorax muscle relax and is block the airway. So people who has this problem, they has the fit difficulty to breathe while sleeping. Oh, it's uh, sad, it's dangerous. Yes. Um, and why are you interested in this topic? Because, personally, because my father has the problem about snore, so I wonder that how can it impact to his health, and also I think sleep is, is very important for our life if we did not get get a good sleep, we might have like the bad mood for all days. So I just like to do the research in this way. Alright, so uh, now we go to, uh, what, what are your research questions? Uh, the, main, uh, the main research question is, is there any association between the residential environment, especially in bedroom, and obstructive sleep apnea? And also there are like other research questions as well, like is there any association between residential environment and sleep quality? Right. Uh, in literature reviews, uh, what did you study about theories of research before? Uh, I have to say that I, did, uh, I used the information from the journal both in country and out country for the book in country i have to find out was it the number of parents of osa is it high or low and also for the out country i search what kind of environment that can impact on their or obstructive sleep apnea right uh, what about data collection uh, who were the samples of your research? Most of my participants are the are obstructive sleep apnea patient from the Excellence Center for Sleep Disorder at King Chulalongkorn Memorial Hospital. They are suffer from the obstructive sleep apnea. All right. And so, uh, and how did you collect the data? Uh, I have to say that um, I divided into two parts. For the first part is for the participant, and the second part is for the environment. For the participant data collection, I recruit the participants from the Excellent Center for Sleep Disorder. So they underwent polysomnography and diagnosed by their specialist, and they can classify their level of obstructive sleep ap apnea and they are willing to join and participate in this study and allow us to collect the data at their home. For the environmental data collection, I use both like questionnaire and instrument to collect the data. For the questionnaire collected like what kind and what type of the bedroom of the participant and for the instrument I used to collect um, for like particulate matter less than 10 and temperature humidity and the data was collected 
or two season that is the wet season and dry season of each season were collect three nine continuously. So, uh, what the different from uh, uh, wet season and dry season? What the different? We found that according to the previous study and from the pollution control department data, they found that in the wet season has low level of particulate matter because um, their participation can reduce the dispersion of the particulate matter. Right. So uh, in chart, uh, your data collection you do focus on uh, obstructed sleep apnea and, and uh, about the dust of uh, PM10. Uh, so what the results of uh, your, uh, that you discover from um, your research? We found that um, the, the particulate matter concentration is as associated with the severity of obstructive sleep apnea. It means that if the participant bathroom has the high concentration of particulate matter less than 10, they have more chance to have more severe of obstructive sleep apnea. Okay, and now we, we know about obstructive sleep apnea. And uh, uh, I think I would like to know more about uh, PM10 or, or in uh, stand for particulate matter less than 10 micrometers. What, could you explain more? About oh, particulate PM10? matter less than 10 means that the diameter of the particulate matter is smaller than 10 micrometer, and you can imagine that it's smaller than our hair, so it's very small, so it's, so it's easily get into our body and deposit in the upper airway so that how can it be related to obstructive sleep apnea. So, it sounds dangerous to, to, to breathe and, and in size. So in addition, I, I know that you study about uh, another factors that cause of sleep qualities. What what what? Yeah, I also factors? did I also there are the other factors such as like mental health, such as anxiety and depression. Uh, we found that this kind of fact, this mental health has an impact on the good sleep quality as well. Also, the hardness of the pillow can have an impact on the good sleep quality because our participant has a problem of obstructive sleep apnea. So it's easy to get to sink into the pillow and then it's difficult to breathe so it can interfere the good sleep quality and also we found that the electronic gadgets such as like mobile phone and tablet can interfere our good sleep quality as well because the blue light emission from this kind of gadget suppress the suppress melatonin excretion and what about humidity and temperature? Uh, well, I have to tell that um, we did not find any association between temperature, humidity, and obstructive sleep apnea severity, but we found that it's related to the sleep quality. Imagine if you sleep in a room that has high temperature and has high humidity, you, will, you might feel like uncomfortable to get sleep. So, is how it impacts you the sleep quality. But if you set the room in the appropriate temperature and humidity, if you set the room at the 24 to 26 degrees Celsius, you might get sleep easily and sleep well. So, so uh, uh, what's the range of the temperatures uh, that are suitable for? It should us? be 24 to 26, should not over 28. Right. Um, so now we know that uh, uh, the temperatures are, are cost use uh, to uh, sleep qualities. We set the air condition to 24 to 26. Yeah. You, you will get uh, sleep qualities and save your money. <laughs> oh, when you uh, Close your uh, research projects. Then you uh, did you go to where, where did you go to present your uh, research? 
I have I had a chance to participate the international conference at Yonsei University in the in Korea. Um, the conference named the Asia Pacific Academic Consortium for Public Health. Yes. I do got a award. I yeah, from from this conference, I'm very glad and um, is we is honored to receive the oral presentation award because this is my first time to receive this award and I'm quite like shy to present to the public so it's, it's the first step of my success very good very good anyways and, and what about academic journal uh, you are going to publish yeah, actually, my journal already accepted by the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine, but it has not published yet. It will publish in this interview. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Very good. Now, uh, and very good dissertations. Finally, uh, could you say something about College of Public Health Science? Yes, first of all, I have to say thank you to my advisor and also other lecturer here because without them, I cannot graduate and I cannot pass the tough time. Um, if I did not study in, that, in this college, I might not have a chance to exchange at University of Tokyo for three months. I think this is a good opportunity for me to to go and to share the experience with foreigners. Yes. Oh, very done. Uh, so today we would like to say thank you, Nong Eun of Mid Sattamat Lapara, for joining us. Uh, knowledge that we received today, we, we could apply for uh, in everyday life to improve your sleep qualities. Now we have to go. See you next month. Bye bye.